Hey what's up guys, in today's video I am going to show how to create pages through REST admin API in Shopify. And in this playlist we are going to cover how to create products, orders, pages, posts and collection and many other things through REST admin API in Shopify. So before wasting any time let's start. So this is the official documentation of Shopify REST admin API and here you can see how to create products, orders and this is the pages. So if you click on this endpoint create pages then you can see Cal, Remix, Ruby, Node.js, PHP these are languages available for the endpoint let's copy it and paste it in the postman so you may know about postman is used to test apis and how the apis will work so let's import this cal cal into this postman like this way and then we have to change few things like your store name store name is the find gap and this is the ap version and after that we have to change the assess token which is used for verification of the api so i have copied the assess token here and i have made this token in the first video of this playlist just send the endpoint and before send we have to make sure the body and let's modify uh, beautify it so we can see it this is the page title and this is the body html so let's see if we have any other endpoint sorry parameter so create a page with meta field create an unpublished page create a page without a title so let's create it send it and then you can see 201 which means page is created so this is the page response and let's see in the Shopify store so just click on pages and you can see warranty information and this is the warranty information title so this is the page we just created through REST admin API so guys by this way you can create the pages easily through this endpoint and if you want to use into your code then click on it and you can get the code anything like java dot call php ruby on rails and many other c sharp node.js so let's uh, copy the php call and paste into our code like this way and if you run this code into your local host xamp so it will create the product sorry page and here is the created response of the page so by this way you can create the pages easily and uh, this is the retrieve endpoint of the pages and you can get the code easily through this copy icon api version created at max fields these are the parameters to get the page list and retrieve a page count and if you want to update the page and then you can also delete a page by the page id so you can get the page id uh, this is the page id you can copy it and you can also copy from there so we just need a page id to delete the page so this is also easy just copy into postman and hit the endpoint by changing assess token so by this way you can create pages easily and guys if you find this video useful don't forget to like subscribe and share finally thanks for watching